It's me Ghost Girl again and today I'm filming another video for you guys so I did say that I'd do a part 2 Q&A so it will give me a chance to answer all, well maybe not all because there's quite a lot of them but majority of the questions that you guys ask me. I'm having to film on the floor today because my mum's outside, it's working, so I was able to film my video inside the house today, but because she's sitting right outside the window, I thought, right, I better not film on my bed, because my bed is like right at my window, so I'm like filming on the floor so she can see me. But um, I don't know how long I'll be able to film today because she could come in at any minute. I'm going to try and answer some of the questions that you guys said to me. As I was saying, my mum could come back at any minute so I don't know how long I'll be able to sit and film for. But eh, I'm going to try my best to answer as much questions as possible. So anyway, someone asked me if I was a new ager. Um, I wouldn't really class myself as a new ager. I do practice like new age beliefs and I do practice like meditation and law of attraction and um, stuff like that. So I do practice some new age practices but I wouldn't really class myself as a new ager and then someone else asked me if I was spiritual yes I am spiritual and I am finding that I am becoming more and more spiritual as time goes on um, I feel a bit more connected now to like everything and um, I'm currently going through this spiritual journey where it will take me I do not know um, I just hope that if I put faith in the universe to take me to where it is want to go then I'll hopefully earn some sort of success but I don't really know where what's going to happen next with this spirituality but a lot of stuff has already happened already and I've learned like a lot of new things and experienced a lot of new stuff and I know I've still got a lot to go when it comes to learning about spirituality and experiencing this stuff so we'll see like what happens someone asked me what attracted spirituality so this must have been someone that i've been i've spoken to an eye view and we must have just been discussing about it actually i know who this person was yeah we had a discussion about spirituality um and private message I'm not going to disclose who this person is but I know like who this person is and I remember this conversation that I had with this person on spirituality and uh, yeah um, it's one of the, my viewers actually is quite spiritual so I think it's this person anyway I'm not sure but I just read that question and I remember having that discussion so um unfortunately for me um i had to go through a lot of pain and suffering and chaos before i could 
um, discover spirituality. So for some people it's just spontaneous and that's great. Like a lot of people like spiritual gurus and stuff say that, not that I'm claiming to be a spiritual guru, I'm definitely not, there's still a lot that I need to learn about this kind of stuff. But a lot of spiritual gurus that I've watched on YouTube and stuff say that their spiritual, their journey into spirituality and how they discovered it happened through a lot of pain and chaos but a lot of people it's just spontaneous they wake up and then they like discover like spirituality and stuff like when you discover spirituality it's called you wake up like your mind just wakes up and you like discover all this stuff um a lot of people it's just spontaneous to just wake up one day and they discover all this like cool amazing stuff about spirituality a lot of people um, it is, they need to go through like a lot of pain and stuff but that seems to be like less common now there seems to be more people that just wake up spontaneously which is good because it should just be that way. You shouldn't really have to go through like a lot of pain and stuff like what I did. But um, basically my whole childhood was just horrible. I'm not even sure I want to <laughs> discuss this on here. But um, I discovered spirituality when I was about 19. But I've always had a spiritual gift of some sort, like for as long as I can remember I've had like this gift. But I didn't really go through like this whole spiritual spiritual journey until I was like 19 is what, when I discovered it. and. Obviously, I've not answered the question. What attracted me to spirituality? I've just seen somebody talking about it on a video one day when I was about 19. And I just felt like this person kind of... He was talking about spirituality and his spiritual journey and stuff like that. And he was talking about what I tried to attempt with spirituality and how he discovered it and I know this isn't like amazing as like some spiritual gurus like on YouTube they talk about their amazing stories and stuff and I know this isn't as amazing but um, I did go through like a lot of childhood neglect, bullying, abuse and stuff and I think that's maybe why I got into spirituality so young. When I first joined I thought I was going to get quite old. I don't know why, I think it's just because a lot of these spiritual gurus look really young but it's not that they're necessarily really young. I think it's just because they really look after themselves and that's how they look so young. and it, Apparently when you go through a spiritual awakening and after you go through it, your body produces more melatonin and that makes you look younger and it's something to do with the uh, the kundalini energy makes your body produce more melatonin and that makes you look really younger and, it, and you don't age as much. Um, I'm trying to explain that the best I can. I don't know that much about it. I'm still kind of learning about it. But um, later on, I do plan on maybe <laughs> trying to explain this a bit better on a video in a lot more detail. But that's how these people look young, but they're actually not young. Like when I googled a lot of these people, I was actually surprised to find that these people were actually a lot older than me, even though they look like really young. So, and basically these gurus were saying in their videos that they went through their spiritual journey, like they started their spiritual journey through like, cause this and this happened. I was like, actually, 
these people were quite a bit older than me when they started their spiritual journey. I actually now realise that I'm going through this like really young compared to like our people that are starting this journey. So I know now that actually I was quite young when I went through this compared to like a lot of the people that go through this. So anyway, it was, I just watched this video and it was this guy named Aaron. I want to say his name's Decorate, but cause I'm like slightly, I'm like slightly dyslexic. So my reading skills are not the best. Like I read things wrong and stuff like that. So um, I think that's his name. Don't ask me how to how to spell that because I've not got a clue. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's uh, it was. He was just talking about his spiritual journey and stuff, and I just listened to him like speaking about it, and I just I don't know. He was going on about it, and I just felt like this was something that interested me, and so I went down the rabbit hole as you might hear some girls um, say went down the spiritual rabbit hole and I discovered this whole new world of things that I had no idea about and I thought I knew about the spirit world and the paranormal and all that turns out I actually had not a clue not a clue and it's like the more you get into it and the more you just like research it and discover stuff the, the more you realize that you actually don't know much like the more you discover the more questions you have and the more you realize you actually don't know a lot like you think you know a lot but you don't and i know that there's still like that i don't know a lot and i still got a lot to learn so someone asked i think this was the person that i had the discussion with i'm not sure will you be making videos about spirituality well i've already talked about spirituality a little bit in my last q a video but i will be talking about it in future videos for any you know guys that want to watch this and I know and I know there will be people that are watching this that are not into spirituality and stuff like that and they're just like oh crazy spiritual girl blah 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 oh, look at her talking about this I'm not into this and that's fine but I do have there are people that are watching my videos and I do have viewers that do want to see me making this kind of content so i know you're probably sitting there thinking oh my god but um try to put yourself in someone else's shoes and imagine like okay so th maybe she's wants to make these videos because she's in enjoys making these types of videos or maybe she's making them because her view that is the type of content that our viewers want to watch it's both i would like to make spiritual videos and i'm sure i will do in the future and my audience have told me that that is what they want so i'm basically just giving you guys what you want and i know there will be some people that will not be happy with that but as the saying goes you can't please everybody and for all those that kind of detest the idea of making spiritual videos please try to put your feet in someone else's shoes try to show some empathy and compassion if we were to show like more empathy and compassion in general as a species the world would be such a better place like human beings need to learn to show more empathy and more compassion and try to put themselves in other people's place um i'm an actual empath 
so I'm able to do that really well but I know there are other people out there that do struggle with empathy and stuff but um, there is I, I don't want to sound bad by saying this but there is like videos online and classes and stuff that talk about empathy and you get like empathy classes like how to show empathy and displaying empathy and what it means to be empathetic and stuff like that so there is stuff like that I don't mean to like insult anybody by like saying oh you better go to this than this class and that it's not that it's just I'm just saying in general like if human beings were to show like more empathy more often then the world would just be a lot better place but it is what it is I suppose I can't change people people can only this is something that I've learned people can only change themselves I can't change anyone I can maybe speak to you and have a word with you and try to convince you but I can't physically make you change if you want to change or if you want people to change they need to change for themselves um, I know I've had friends and family members that I've tried to get to improve themselves and it's just like not worked out and something that I've realised is that you can't change somebody only a per single person can change somebody you can if a person wants to change they'll change if they won't they won't and it's not your fault or anyone else's if someone else like can't change it so like I know a lot of people will probably are like kind of know what I'm talking about and for a lot of people out there I know this is an important message I feel like this is an important message that I'm meant to say to somebody somewhere and I know there will be people watching that maybe need to hear this message you cannot change someone only they can change themselves you can try to convince someone to change but you cannot make somebody change only a person can do that I feel like that was a message from somebody also um, there are probably people in my audience that are watching spiritual videos and they're just starting their spiritual journey and they have no idea what to do they're probably lost lonely confused especially if you're going through a dark night phase or the void that is that is hell like I swear to god like if you don't know what I'm talking about if you look up dark night of the spiritual ego on Google or just watch a YouTube video about it then you'll understand what I'm talking about but um if you do then you'll know that that's hell and you need to do like a lot of shadow work and a lot of people have like bad experiences that are happening to them during their spiritual journey and they don't know like what to do and they're stuck so I feel like these, if I do make spiritual videos, it is going to help people through their spiritual journey and help people like understand what they're going through and help them through their struggles. So if there's any people that maybe isn't into that, like try and imagine this person, this one person that's maybe going through this like spiritual stuff and they don't understand what they're going through and they don't have a clue what's going on and they're maybe watching my videos and hearing me talk about spirituality but they don't and they know what's going on but they don't fully know what's going on and at least if I can make some sort of videos it will somewhat help them to figure out what the hell is going on with them because I know when I 
for starting my spiritual journey. I didn't know what the hell was going on. And it was like that for years. Just uh, all this, I was experiencing all this stuff and all these um, experiences. And I didn't have a clue what the hell was going on, by the way. It wasn't until I was a bit older. Like, I didn't know that I had a gift until I was about between the ages of 9 and 12 but before then I didn't have a clue what it, what on earth was going on it was mental and then when I was 19 that's when I discovered like I was going through this spiritual journey and stuff and then I am currently going through this thing called ascension if you don't know what that is then I recommend you Google it or watch a YouTube video on it. Ascension is, oh, it's like a roller coaster ride, I swear to God. If you know what I'm talking about, then you understand, like, how I'm, feel, how I'm feeling. If you don't know what Ascension is, then I recommend that you do some research, work on that. Um, that's quite a long video. I might do it. A video on ascension later on in the future but it took me this long to figure out that I was going for ascension and that's why I was having like a lot of issues that I have um, and why I maybe feel certain I feel certain way when I do so yeah, that happened and I also discovered that I have a lot of spiritual gifts that would explain why things happen and why I am the way I am. And then figuring out like who you really are and uh, like and stuff like that and why you are the way that you are is um it just helped me like discover myself and it helped me figure out why I am the way I am and why I have why I act certain ways and why I have certain issues and stuff like that and um it did help me a lot so if anyone's like really like struggling with this then I know there'll be people that'll be hating that and dreading this and probably will not want spirituality videos on my channel but I'm saying guys just try and be aware and be mindful and try to put your feet in the shoes of these people that are going through this and will need some sort of spiritual guidance somehow that I am willing and hopefully will be able to provide to at least someone out there I'll be happy if I'll be able to help just one person. Another person asked me if I was going to be making new age type videos. Um, I'm not really sure what they meant by that. Type of videos I'm thinking of like meditations and stuff like that and like yoga and um, I will be doing meditations eventually um, if I can learn how to create that type of video because I'm not sure you get some videos where it's like the gurus talking to you and then you get other videos where it's just music and then other videos where it's like the binaural beep and the delta waves and stuff like that so it depends on the type of meditation that I was doing because I'd need if I was going to do like the some of the like the kundalini stuff I'd need to be able to replicate the sound so I'd need to figure out like how to do that and some of the like vibrational stuff in that like it's a certain frequency that you listen to and it's supposed to help like raise your vibrations so I'd need to figure out how to replicate like those vibrations if you get what I mean. Someone was asking me about my spiritual awakening 
I've kind of already answered this, um, but I was a bit more careful of the world down, but now that we're talking about spiritual awakenings, um, yeah, I'll answer. Like, so I had my spiritual awakening when I was 19 and that got triggered by um, bullying at school, abuse, neglect and stuff when I was a child and I think because the incident, like, uh, like all the badness and the pain and the stuff happened when I was a child, maybe that is something to do with me waking up so young but a lot of people go when they go through like a spiritual awakening there's either two ways that they go through it they go through it like a lot of pain and suffering like what i did or they just spontaneously wake up now as i was saying earlier thankfully um people are just waking up more spontaneously it just happened like that one day you just wake up like that out of nowhere and you don't really know like what's going on and what's changed until you like f do some research and like figure it out for yourself but thankfully nowadays like it is more the spontaneous just wake up like instead of going through like pain and stuff like because uh, my pain wasn't nice and I think the idea of like other people like having to go through like that pain and stuff is just not like a nice thought at all just thinking about it but yeah um I was 19 and I realized now that I was really young to go through so yeah I realized now that I was quite young going through all that but I'm glad it like happened because uh, I kind of, I feel like my life has gotten like a lot better and um, just feel generally a bit more grounded now and I know that I can trust the universe for guidance and they'll hopefully <laughs> guide me on the right path. Um, so someone asked me if I was pagan and um, I did make a video on the history of paganism and I made a video on a uh, where I basically told everyone I was a witch and uh, I do class myself as pagan um, I do like yeah I am pagan like I do practice paganism and I take on pagan practices and I do take it quite seriously but not to the point where like some other people do like you get like some really like people that are really like strongly committed to the religion and stuff but I'm not like as committed as what our people would be because I tend to, I'm a bit more free with myself when it comes to paganism, but I know ours are probably a bit more, like, stick to it, like, dead, like, strict and stuff for themselves. But I'm not that strict with myself. I'm a bit more free and laid back about it, if you get what I mean. But um, anyway, I think this video is getting really long now, so... That's going to be all the questions that I'm going to be asking, answering for today. But um, I think I'll make another video and see if I can get through more of you guys' questions. So there will be a part three to this Q&A for all those that are interested. If you enjoyed this video then please like this video please comment down below subscribe click on the notification bell so that you'll be notified when my next videos come out 
and also don't forget to follow me on Twitter where I frequently post updates about my channel and what's going on in my life. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys. That is everything for me today. Goodbye.